Hello everyone, welcome, it's Benjamin Wara and today we're going to be taking a look at how to make a health bar in Unity. A health bar's main function is to show the amount of health that the player has left. In this case, we're going to be representing the health bar media as slider and the slider is going to represent the percentage of health that the player has remaining. So, let's get straight into this. So, currently this project has only a player and this player has a player controller, which is basically a script that has a variable. This variable is public and it's the health, the current health of the player. I also have in the canvas two images. I have a background for the health bar and I also have the health bar itself. The image that contains the health bar needs to be of type filled and also needs to be horizontal. This will allow us to create the slider effect depending of its filled amount percentage that we can edit in our code. Now that we've done that, we need to go ahead and create a new script in the health bar image. I'm gonna call this health bar script. Because we're working with an image of a health bar, we need to go ahead and import unityengine.ui, which includes image. To start off, we need a variable that will reference our image, This, in this case being the image of the health bar. Now we need to create two indicators. We need to create the current health indicator and also a max health indicator so that we can get the percentage of the amount of health that the player has remaining. I am also going to add a 100F for the max health of my player because that's the amount I want to go ahead and represent as my max value. I'm also going to write a variable that allows me to communicate with the player controller script. So I'm going to create a player controller script variable type. So next we create a start function and then we go ahead and we're going to locate our image for the image variable that we created. Then we want to reference the player controller script with a find object of type. Then in an update function we want to make sure that the current health is always the same health as the variable that we put in in the player controller script. And finally we just need to calculate the percentage. So we calculate the current health divided by the max health and that will give us a percentage that we're going to be using in fill amount. Now when we hit run, when we slide the variable, the public variable that we declared as health in the player controller script, we can see that the slider goes ahead and changes with it. So anyways guys, if you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing if you want to see more Unity content. Consider leaving a comment down below telling me what to do next. Anyways guys, goodbye.